My name is Harish Kovic. I'm the product development manager here at Launch Tech USA. In the connected car era, our vehicles have never been more integrated with technology. Today's vehicles have numerous control systems and onboard safety systems that ensure a safe and comfortable driving experience. When it comes to repairing and servicing these vehicles, it is imperative that the vehicles are serviced with quality and repair. There are three key elements in this process. A certified professional technician, a professional level scan crew, and a repair information system that is trustworthy and accurate. We are pleased to announce here at Launch that we have recently partnered with Motor Information Systems and integrated the Motor Information Database on our X431 scan tool platform. This is known as X431 Fix. Today, I'm here at John's Automotive here in San Diego, California with professional ASE Master Tech, Tony Shelton. We'll be using the X431 Throttle 3 scan tool and the X431 Fix. So this element here is the shuttle for the shop. It's the one we take customers home in, but it's not acting right. So today, the warning light that we have on would be the SRS light, also known as the airbag light. It's going to be this guy right over here. Yeah, him. So this is the code we retrieved. It's for the driver's side airbag. And this is the cool part about the X431 fix. Is there's a button right there under the code. Check this out. Bam. Load you up. Links you directly to the information that you're looking for. And voila, you're in. It pastes the code. All you have to do is click, tap, and here we are at the clock spring replacement. Right there. That's what we determined was wrong by doing some electrical testing just under the dash. I'll show you a little bit more about that later. So the uh, replacement procedure is here. The removal, the installation, everything you would need to uh, get the job done. Uh, there's the figures down here on the bottom. You can print. Uh, scroll through here and find the one you're looking for. You know, if, you're, if you haven't had one of these apart before, this will show you where all the screws are at. It's really helpful. Really helped me get through this one real quickly. Plenty of information here for the, the professional all the way down to the, uh, you know, the do-it-yourselfer. So let's get started. Full disclaimer, this is not this full speed that I actually work at. I had to slow it down so that the camera could catch it. We're going to start by taking off the horn pad and disconnecting the plug that goes to the actual airbag module itself. Get that out of the way, put it in a safe place. Going to remove the bolt that holds it in place. Get that steering wheel off of there. And this is very important. You want to take a paint pan and, and mark your splines here so that you can get the steering wheel back on in the same spot. Because if you don't, it'll be crooked. There's a little plug here for the horn pad and the cruise control. And you just wiggle that out through here. Push the plug in, out. There goes the wheel. All right. Next, this is what we call the clamshell. I'm not really sure why, but it's the plastic cover that, that encases the uh, switches and the uh, part that we're going to be replacing today. So we just take those two screws out like you saw. Take the cover part. Oh, get that out of the way. Go set that in a safe place, and now we're just going to start disconnecting things. So there's the, the pass through there. There's going to be a little retainer underneath here, and you got to wiggle a little bit. And there's one on the bottom too. So we're going to get it underneath there, and yeah, get that one right there on the bottom. So here it is. We have a break in this continuity between here and here. So it's probably in the middle here where the cable reel runs through. This is the part that does all the turning and that's most likely the place for it to break because, uh, well, it's flexing back and forth all the time. It was tested from the end of these two yellow connectors and that thing is bad. So now that we got it in, we're going to go in and check the codes to make sure that they're clear. It's very important to do before you put it all back together because you wouldn't want to find out that it still had a problem after you put it all back together. And At this point, you could go back. So. We're gonna check and bing bada bing bada boom. Go in here to the SRS, scan it. Popped up green, which means there's no codes, but we're gonna enter that to check anyway and create a report. And as you can see, looks good. Now we're now we're doing the memorization. This is the calibration procedure. It's pretty simple. As you can see, it's just a few button clicks, and you can get that done. Look at that. Not bad, huh? This X431 scan tool is pretty slick. Pretty slick. I've been using it now 
for quite some time. I, and it's my go-to. I use it every day. We'll end this session and we are done. So that's it. Enjoy this introduction into the X431 Throttle 3 scan tool and the X431 Fix by Motor Information Systems. We thank Tony and Jones Automotive Care for illustrating this repair and this recalibration on the 2011 Honda Element steering angle sensor. For more information, visit www.launchtechusa.com.